Hey, how's it going everyone? Nathan here with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I'm gonna give you guys a review of Ink's new color screen technology. So this is the Onyx Poke 2 color. It's one of the first devices to uh, come with Ink's Kaleidio uh, color screen technology. So it supports 4,096 colors. So, you know, it's not uh, anywhere as vibrant as like a tablet, but as you can see here, the color does show up quite well. Uh, I do not have a problem with the like color. I mean, the color accuracy is not the greatest if you like compare it to a tablet or something, but um, the color does look quite good for stuff like comics, magazines. Um, so, you know, here's a look at it compared to the Kindle with the same comic. Uh, definitely an improvement having the color content on the screen, but there are some drawbacks with the color screen. So I'll show you that in a moment. Here's just a kind of a closer look at the color compared to the Kindle. So these screens have 300 PPI for black and white content. And then the color content, it gets a resolution of 100 PPI. So, I mean, it is nice having your colored images, your colored book uh, covers, uh, works great stuff like magazines and comics, like I said, but when it comes to regular text, this is where the color screens, they don't match up to the regular screen. So we got the front light off on both of these. So what the, these screens, they have a color filter over it. So the color filter makes the screen look a little bit darker, uh, has more of a gray feel to it. So the Kindle here, you can see with the ink Carta screen has much better contrast, background, lighter, uh, text is darker. The color screens are perfectly readable, but I mean, it's definitely a downgrade when you compare it to the uh, regular ink screens. Uh, they just have better contrast, better uh, background color without that color filter over the top. So uh, you can actually see the color filter. The the uh, It gets a little bit exaggerated on the camera because it's a close up here, but as you can see, you can see the sort of a grid uh, on the screen here where it's just pure white or like a light background on the regular ink screen. So here it is with the front light off very dim but when the front light helps a lot to make the screen look better but the problem with the front light is when you turn it up you're more aware of the grid the grid is more visible with the front light brighter uh, you can see it right here in the background the camera does exaggerate it a bit so here's a look at colored text so this is the blue text uh, for the table of contents here and then we go over to the black text as you can see the the color gets um, it has a resolution of 100 ppi and the black text has 300 ppi so uh, as you can see, when you do a close-up, you can see the difference between, you know, the black text and the blue text. So these screens, they're just, they're best suited for uh, color content like your comics, your magazines. Uh, you can even load news apps on the Onyx here. Onyx has uh, got Android, so you can load up news apps. And that kind of stuff works well on here. I'm actually kind of surprised by the color just because, you know, it's ink. Um, it's not like tablet quality or anything like that, but, I mean, it's... Good enough. I mean, the these uh, Onyx devices will actually play video as well, so it's not like something you wanted to normally do. But if you go over to like one of the faster refresh modes, um, you can actually play videos on here. So I mean, that's just one of the uh, advantages with Onyx's software with the Android and the customizable uh, refresh mode. So uh, you can view color content such as videos if you really wanted to. Uh, so again, news apps do work pretty well with the color screen, having the color images, it's a much better experience than having your black and white images for everything. So, I mean, the color screens do have some advantages. It does come with just a little bit of a drawback with text clarity, but I mean, text is still, uh, you know, clear enough to read. So here's a look at a comic using the Kindle app. Uh, there's some different settings with Onyx's uh, software. You can customize uh, like the uh, contrast you, when you're using third-party apps. One thing I notice is when you uh, set the contrast, uh, it does make the uh, images darker. It does make the colors darker. Uh, so you kind of want to avoid that. Uh, but if you go all the way down with no contrast as well, I don't know, it, it's a little bit more faded. Like the uh, text balloons can be a little bit harder to read. Uh, so I kind of like actually having a little bit of contrast added to the screen. So uh, if we zoom in here a little bit better, you can see sort of the text. Uh, so if we just add like a little bit of contrast, I think it kind of actually makes it look a little bit better. It makes the colors just a little darker. It makes the uh, text balloons a little bit darker, easier to read. So uh, one thing with the color content is it really needs a uh, full refresh every page. You can't get by with the partial refresh like you can with uh, text. Uh, it needs to have the setting so that it refreshes the full page every time. So that's just sort of one thing with the uh, color screen. So here's a look at a magazine. Obviously a magazine's not gonna lay out well on a six inch screen. They're only making these in six inches right now. Um, but these, the Kindle app has the option to use text view. So you get like the image at the top and then you got the text view for, the, for their magazines, which actually works really well. So you kind of nice having the 
colored images on here. Uh, again, you can switch over to like a faster mode with Onyx's devices here. Uh, again, you'll see a lot more ghosting when you're using color. So uh, you definitely need to have the full fresh enabled when you're using any kind of color content. But as far as like comics go, I think this is where it excels the best. Uh, the color, it kind of has like a vintage newspaper feel to it. So, I mean, like the uh, black and white content on the Kindle, it's like sharper and clearer. But uh, the color content, I mean, you can't argue with like uh, comics on here. It looks definitely a lot better than it does in black and white having the color screen on here. So personally, I think the color screen is pretty cool, but I just don't know that it's ever going to really take off with the downgrade and text clarity. Uh, it'll be kind of interesting to see if uh, other companies come out with color e-readers as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Check out the ebookreader.com. I'll be posting a full review of the Onyx Poke 2 color here soon. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.